G'day folks. Uh, today I just figured I'd have a quick look at a uh, scrapyard find. Oh, I picked this one up this afternoon. Um, it's a Konica branded generic LCD. I've already had a peek through the slats in the back of it and it looks like a standard China panel and uh, power supply so definitely probably not up to Konica quality standards but let's see what it does. Stand by. Hmm. It's trying to signal an alien home world. <laughs> that sounds like a power supply having issues. No, nothing. Yeah, a bit of brightness. The backlight came up, but yeah. Sounds like maybe the 5 volts dropped out. Uh, we can have a look at that. If not, well, if it's not an easy fix, I'll uh, we'll put it in the pile of dead everything and, well, dead TV everything and have a bit of fun later. <laughs> We've still got to work through, work up to that one. Anyway, it also looks like this one's been used for portable use because they've got a bit of clear polycarbonate over the front, or acrylic. It's awfully scratched from when I dragged it off the uh, old mattress springs that it was sitting on at the scrap yard. It was up on top of the pile so I had to drag it down and unfortunately this acrylic is not really useful at the moment because it's, oh, it'd be partially useful. I could polish it up a bit. That'd be, if anything, that's probably the best bit of it. <laughs> the rest of it's just plastic rubbish and an old uh, cheapo panel. But we'll have a look. It does have uh, DVI input. Yeah, it's got DVI, SCART, which is completely obsolete, probably an analog tuner, headphone output, and just composite. So, pretty standard. That looks like a generic power supply. Very standardised stuff. I've seen this in a million different TVs. I might even have a power supply on the shelf that'll work. So, let's find out. Okay, well, fairly basic unit. It's got a Chungwa brand panel seen that name on a lot of old CRTs in the past so it's interesting to see they're still operating. A lot of evidence of roaches or micro roaches. You can see poop all over the bottom there, all up inside here, all over the control buttons. I'd be willing to bet one of them little bastards shorted it out. There's an interesting little subboard here that has... oh it's an audio amplifier also doubles as a, a um, power subboard as well. We've got 12 and 24 volts coming off. It's actually a Delta made power supply. It's DPS 220QP. I don't have one of these but uh, yeah, nice little transformer. Uh, what is it? 12 volts, 24 volts, 7.5 amps, 12 volts, 4 amps, grounding and there should be a 5. Yeah, 5 volt, 2 amps, and on off control, so two of these wires will be uh, control, the other ones will just be outputs. That's easy enough to test. It doesn't have the pinouts on the board though. Neither side has pinouts on it, maybe they're printed on the underside, but either way it'll be easy enough to trace out where things go. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but it would be nice to have a bare 32 inch panel attached to the wall somewhere. This one's got nice sturdy wall bracket mounts on it as well. Like I'd lose the speakers and everything, strip it back to its bare necessities and uh, mount it up on the wall somewhere up in here maybe. Rearrange some of those signs and just have it above that corner of the door right behind that box. Um, yeah, the caps and everything look okay but you can never really trust them for that. Again, it's just going to be one of those uh, minor fault searches, I guess, unless something's actually been shorted by roaches, so... I'll give it an hour or so of troubleshooting. If not, you can go in the dead TV pile. The panel on it looks alright. It's not showing scratches when it illuminates. Well, not cracks or scratches. So the panel might be worth putting aside, but... Yeah, the rest of it, I don't really know. I don't, I don't really have time for old TVs. This TV's this old. Not when HD stuff's showing up all over the place. This is only standard def. 
you can run uh, DVI into it, that's the best. It doesn't have uh, HDMI input, it's not a 720 or a H, uh, 1080p panel. But it'd make a neat little security monitor or a live stream monitor. I want to set up a little PC up in here somewhere and have a live stream PC for down this end of the shed soon. There's a pivot tally bracket out there on the ground that I'm going to put the PC on and hope I was expecting to put PC and a 19 inch monitor just sitting on it but if I can do this I might as well screw the whole thing to the wall just so long as it's in a position where rain can't splash onto it because rain, water does run down the backs of those doors and if I'm going to mount an LCD flat panel on it or a plasma or something it needs some kind of folded metal shielding over the back that's all it'll be, it'll just be a skin that goes between the back of the TV up and over a bit so any splashes hit that and run down without going into the set. Not hard to do at all, I could even make it out of plastic. Well, there's your problem. Insect damage, covered in roach poop and everything. That is evil. I'll give it a quick scrub but I'm guessing the damage is done. They've probably shorted across uh, 12 volts to 5 volts and vice versa caused all kinds of other problems. I think it's dead, Jim. Um, the other thing I don't know about is the T-Con board or even the inverters. I mean, the inverters are obviously working because I've got backlights, but I'm getting no picture. If I unplug or plug the panel connector in, I get absolutely no change whatsoever, so I'm guessing this board just isn't putting anything out. Well, I'll give it a very quick clean up, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well... At least I've got a good amplifier board and that's about it, power supply. <laughs> I'm not going to bother keeping the panel, I've already got a 42 inch version uh, with a Samsung panel in it inside as well as a couple of 46 inch Samsung HDs and a couple of more modern plasmas and a couple, two or three older model plasmas. I've got enough TVs to last a lifetime so that and another couple of 32 inch standard deaf panels just like this, same kind of inputs and they all work fine. They're Pyrod brand panels. So yeah, old but effective. I know Dad uses them when he comes over. Oh, and there's also the 32 inch plasma that I lent him while he was here, so yeah, more TVs. That's alright, I don't have any problem scrapping this one out for bits, but I'll be curious to see if it works and otherwise I'll probably drag one of the Pyrod 32 inches out here and just strip it bare and mount that on the wall. Uh, I know they have less less components in them and they're better shielded as well so it's a bonus. Man this is a damn bug hunt. Game over man, game over. Yep, looks like someone nuked them from orbit. There's not one live one left. No live bugs in this thing but lots of dead ones and the entire T-Con board is infested. Like there's just debris falling out from under where that protective cover goes so yuck yeah I'm calling it on that one it's dead it is well and truly as dead as that damn roach there it looks like they fumigated it nuked them from orbit the bugs are dead but mm, so is everything else well the power supply on the uh, audio board can stay if that's a 12 volt feed for the audio board I could even use that in a car or something world's smallest um, automotive amplifier. <laughs> I'll find a use for it. But the rest of that's done. This thing is uh, rubbish. Thanks for watching. That's what happens when you get too many bugs in your TV.